Well, no, because in order to exaggerate, which is what he's accusing us of, we would have had to know what was in the accounts before they were published. We didn't know what was in the accounts, precisely because they're independent. It was an estimate of what we thought would be the result, and it turns out that the result was 80 million instead of 100 million. But look, we hadn't said in 2011 we are going to have 100 million in 2015. What we said in 2011 was we will restore the reserves. That is, we will go from zero to 63 million. Mm -hmm. It turns out that we didn't breach what we said we would do in 2011. We got our estimate wrong because we do not control community care, because it is an independent charity, and because it was an estimate made by us of what we thought the result would be. Okay? Well, look, if, if Mr. Clinton goes back over the 15 years of uh, uh, the GSD government, the number of times that there were missed estimates would fill a telephone book. So you've explained that the, the government gives community care money, and then community care invests that money, always making sure that it has enough to obviously pay the pensions for Gibraltar's resident pensioners. Um, does that charity sometimes give money back to the government? Well, not giving money back to the government, but if it puts the money in the Gibraltar International Bank, or it puts the money in the savings bank, then it is investing the money in two uh, institutions that take money from the public. So are you hinting at the fact that probably no, that's no, where some look, of the... One of the things that I said to Mr. Clinton was that historically in the past, talking about when I was there, right, and when I left the charity in the hands of Mr. Caruana, uh, most of the time it invested its money in the savings bank. In short, for anybody who is a Gibraltar resident pensioner, should they be worried about community care? Absolutely none. I can tell you, look, the, if, there, there is... The, the, the charity continues to have more money today in reserve than it has ever done in its history in the 15 years of the GSD or the 8 years of the GSLP. So if there was a cause for concern in, 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 the, in the near 30 year life of the charity, the, the year that there is least cause for concern is now in terms of how strong its reserves are. In any event, Mr. Clinton is right that we've given less money uh, to it last year than, in my view, we should have had. But uh, I've already explained that in the previous press release that although we set out to give the charity money, if there is a point in time when there is a pressing need to, um, to use public money for something else, that is precisely why they've got their own reserves. And it means that if we give them less one year, well, look, then the next year we may be able to give them much more. Look, we started off giving them 53 million pounds in the first years. 53 million pounds in one year, over one million pounds a week.